So today I'm going to be cutting the uh, the holes in my lantern. Um, in my classroom, I have a couple of these cutters. They're uh, round circle cutters. So if you're interested in cutting different circles, I have some different sizes you might uh, try out. You can come borrow some of those. Um, so I'm gonna do a couple different size holes. We're gonna start by measuring. And um, the measurement here, it's, uh, it's a five inch. So right at two and a half inches is gonna be the center point. So I wanna think about where my center point is. And then when I make my hole, I wanna make sure that I kinda of have that in the center. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna measure the top and the bottom of where I want my cutter to be, okay? So we're gonna start with this first hole and I'm gonna take the cutter and I'll put it in. And this, like I say, you just kinda of twist it and you get these nice, circular holes. I'm gonna have to do that a couple of times, okay? I'm gonna start with that, and then I'm gonna to have to measure. Okay, so to get the circumference of my, um, of my lantern, I'm gonna use a piece of string, and I'm basically gonna measure from side to side here, wrapping it around. And then I'm gonna take that same string and I'm gonna hold it up to a ruler and what I get is, um, it's a little over 13 inches, 13 and a half inches, okay? And so I, I wanna do a pretty even um, lantern design. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna split that into four. All right, so um, kind of doing a little bit of a grid work. I've been using the string to create some crosshatch, um, trying to locate the center for my cross pieces. Um, and I kind of want to have them all evenly spaced. So um, kind of marked them where I kind of want them up top and bottom and um, trying to make a, just a real, really uniform, even regular pattern as I make my cutouts for my lantern. So now I'm going to a smaller size. And what I'm doing is I'm, I'm running along the line in the middle between um, the two larger holes and I'm, creating a hole and an equal distance in between. Um, and so my idea is, as I build up this pattern, is that I create um, a real uniform uh, space between each of these holes. And later on, you won't be able to notice too, too much as we go through because um, there'll be so many holes that um, it's pretty evenly spaced. Um, these are about an inch apart. And so kind of have, figured out exactly where I want them. And now I'm just gonna come through and then and make these holes. Um, kind of just a little bit eyeing it as I go because uh, I'm gonna have a, like a lot, a lot of different uh, light coming out of the, of the lantern when it's all done. So make it fun. I wanna have lots of holes. And I'm going to have a smaller one, too, that um, will be tons of really small holes. And we'll start with these, and then we're going to move to the small ones on the last part of the video here. Okay, so I'm starting to come up with the pattern that I want for my um, lamp, lantern, however you want to call it. Um, I bought this little, it's about an $8 uh, lamp base. Um, and so you can kind of see how the, the light will shine. It's not really dark right now, but um, I'm really just kind of thinking about the, the pattern that's involved in the piece. Um, how does this little uh, base work? Well, basically there's a little light bulb here. Okay, and that screws into the to the lamp. And this is the, the base. And these were available, you can get those at a hardware store. 
All right, so I'm working on a pattern um, with the uh, the lantern, and what I'm trying to do is um, come up with something that is is easy to repeat. So um, I'm using the um, the smallest little cutter. Now the small cutter sometimes doesn't always push through, so sometimes I use a paintbrush to get it to go all the way through. The best thing to do if you do borrow um, a set of these is just to kind of go slow with it and um, don't push too hard because you don't want to break the, the clay. The clay is pretty much leather hard um, and leather hard um, just refers to sort of the stage where the clay is pretty much stiff and dry. You can't really do a lot of changes on the form, but um, you can do things like carve into it. Uh, you can do things like scraffito. Um, you can um, do a design in there. And then you can do things like I'm doing here, which is um, cutting out and making uh, patterns. Um, so I'm going to kind of reference you here. I started over on this other side to kind of uh, did a little of that off screen to kind of think about how I wanted to do it. And um, I'm going to try to continue that pattern as we come in to the piece itself. So again, I'm kind of cutting the holes out, poking them through and um, thinking about trying to make it as uniform as I can. Now, I'm trying to have fun with it too, so um, I'm not gonna stress if the lines are not uh, absolutely perfect, um, and you probably won't be able to notice anyways because um, as you get into this a little bit more, um, you'll see that it kinda, there'll be so many holes that um, it, it won't be super noticeable, little mistakes I live with. And I think it's important to live with little mistakes. Now, I could take the time and go and measure everything to the exact dot. And if you um, uh, have the need to do that, you can also do that as well. Um, so anyhow, that's kind of where I'm at with this piece. I'm um, going to continue that out as I'm, as I'm thinking about finishing it up and making it look nice. And the nice thing about this, too, is just figuring out a bunch of little spaces where the light can come out. And um, you may have seen that other part of the video already where I show where the light comes out. I may have to do some cleanup on the insides of these holes as well. Um, but um, that's the idea. Going to have some vertical lines too. I'm using a ruler to do the vertical line, so I will do those in just a second. I'm going to do the back side, but I use the ruler as a kind of a guide to get those pieces. I will probably do the second one on this side. Um, and what I, I did on the other side was figure out about where I want the, the shape and use the ruler to make an indentation. That's about the same. Um, so we'll start there. So I had one on the bottom and then two on the top, okay? The two above it are kind of parallel off of those lines. So I need to make those first. Okay, so I'm gonna do those next. And you can see I've made a couple little mistakes there and that's okay. So my uh, lantern started off as a box, and this was kind of a lid. Um, but what I decided uh, to do is, because I need to put a light bulb in it, it, it makes it convenient to change the light bulb. Um, I want to put some uh, shapes inside the lid, and I want to kind of mimic the shape on the side of uh, the design on the side of my uh, lamp. So um, I've created an X. All right, so we're going to start with the first hole. I'm using the same size as sort of the larger hole on the um, on the sides of the box. And um, these tools, if you twist them and you keep going, you you tend to uh, push the clay out. We, you know, a way to avoid having a lot of um, cleanup on the inside is kind of pick that little piece of clay out, and you can pull it out. Um, usually, when you when you cut through on all the holes, right, you're going to have some of that. Uh, extra clay go through. So you, you, you're going to have to do some cleanup no matter what. But if you kind of clean up as you go, um, it's kind of helpful. 
So as you can see in the, in the uh, side of the lantern, I created sort of this X and then move from there. So I'm gonna do the same thing on the, on the lid. Um, I'm using a ruler for measuring um, and that helps me to get more or less in the center. Um, we're about two inches from the side here. So I'm gonna go about an inch and a half and that's where I'm gonna put um, my mark for the center line of the, of the holes. And I've done that on the other parts as well. Kind of done some marking and it helps me to think about exactly where I want to put the next hole that I'm putting. Okay, so here's my little uh, lamp cover. Um, I still have some cleanup to do, which I'm gonna wait to do until it's a little drier. Um, I bought this little $8 uh, lamp uh, fitting on Amazon. You can buy it on uh, um, those types of websites, uh, you can hardware store. Um, created this little lantern. Um, the light bulb gets screwed in on the inside. All right. And I made a lid with some cuts.